from Girls Day Week here. Today I'm going to do my project pen update and my shop my stash. So um, usually I do my empties and my um, purchases as well, but I had quite a few things come in this month. Basically everything I've ordered in the last three months all came in at the same time in the same week. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do it separately so that the, this video is already pretty long doing the shop my stash and the project plan together and I think it'll just go on too long. So I'm going to start off with my project plan stuff and so I did my makeup 5, 10, 15, 20, 22 times this month in July and I used my Strawberry Soothing Face Body Mist, sorry, face, not body, face mist <laughs> from the body shop. One, two, three, four. 22 times, so the same amount of time that I did my makeup. So we went here before, and now we are down to here. So I could mark it so I don't forget. So that's where we are now. And I used my pretty fresh. Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer, which I've been really enjoying. And um, <laughs> I've had this upside down because it's nearly empty, but I used it 5, 10, 15, 20 times. And um, we were down to here, but now I have to unscrew the top to get anything out of it because the pump will no longer work. So um, I would say by next month this will definitely be gone. And I've enjoyed it, and I wanted to um, order it again, but um, they were sold out on site, so <laughs> I couldn't have any more. And I was also using my ALF Paulus Putty Primer that the beautiful Tracy had sent me. And so that looks like this now. And I used that 5, 10, 15... 19 times over the last month. So um, sometimes I use all three together and sometimes I only use two or one, just depending on how I felt. And I'm liking the way these two primers are, or I should say three things, are working together on my skin. And I don't know whether it's the new skincare I've been using or whether it's priming, but um, last month I really enjoyed that combination as well. So um, I carried on using it this month. For foundation, I carried on using these and I used this one and I can't even see the other one. That's how much I do it. And this one. I had it in my project. One of them was this this one was shot my stash. But I used the Rimmel Lasting Finish. 25 hour with comfort serum and this one is a natural beige this is the darker one so I used this 5 10 15 20 times over the last month and you can't see the I can't see how much is left whereas the lighter one you can start seeing some holes in the side Oops, that was noisy. and the light one I used 5 10 13 times so I used this light one 13 times the pretty fresh one I used 5, 10, 15, 20 times. That's where that is. I haven't marked it, but um, it, it is going down. So way down there now. And um, although I don't like this on its own, I really like it mixed in with some of my other foundations. It just makes it spread nicely and looks really nice on my skin. So I was going to experiment using this and the lighter one to get up. Oh, that, that was what that was what I did do that one time, so that'll be one of the times I didn't use it. No, sorry, I remember. Um, <laughs> I did not like this mix together at all. It just looked too dry and cakey, and I didn't like it, so I didn't do that. <laughs> but I did. I, I so I only used that twice. <laughs> I think the second time I used it, I actually used those two together, and that was fine. The Photo Ready Concealer from Revlon. This. And I used that 5, 10, 14 times over 
do you like? And the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. I used 5, 10, 15, 20 times and I did mark it before but you can't see the mark anymore. It's come off. Hang on. I can just see it but I don't think you'll see it on camera so I will remark it. So that's where it was. It's been lying down so that's not very helpful. I wasn't very prepared was I? But it looks like it's like about down to here now so you can definitely see some daylight through the bottle now. But I was also using my Age Rewind here and all the marks have come off this. I need to, I think I'm going to have to start marking it with nail polish or something because um, the vivid markers with the, the oils from the makeup keep coming off. <laughs> so I used this one 5, 10, 15, 13 times, I'm um, sorry 15, 16, 17, 18 times, 18 times over the last month. So I can mark it now, but whether it'll stay on there, I don't know. So I used three different concealers this month. And where is my powder gone? Here it is. <laughs> my Superstay Better Skin from Maybelline. I used 5, 10, 15, 19 times, which now looks like. So it's gone down a little bit, but not a lot, because halfway through the month I started using my powder differently. I was using a lot less, so um, I wasn't using it as fast. Now I'd also put in the um, L'Oreal True Match, and I hardly used this in the end. I used it twice, <laughs> so didn't use that much so of that, and that's because. Um, when I was editing my last month, I had said I was going to try and finish this out. And then when I did my shop, my stash, I put this away. So when I edited it, I thought, like, oh, I was supposed to be using this. So I ended up having two loose powders in. And um, I didn't end up using either of them very much. <laughs> so this one here. So this one here I used only five, six, seven times over the month. So that wouldn't have gone down much. I thought, oh, because I don't use very much all the time. It's pretty much in the same place, so it's not even worth marking actually, I don't think. So it's not much different because I only used it seven times and I only use a tiny bit when I use it. So my OXX Studio Face Palette in number two medium. I was using the contour in this and I used that 11 times and now it's empty. So there is nothing left. I've got it empty. All gone. And I'm going to get rid of this palette now because this blush is just a bit hopeless. It's too, it's so hardly packed that it just doesn't come off very well. And this highlighter here is too dark for me. So this is going to get decluttered. So that was finished. So I finished that one in. That was early in the month, so I actually couldn't um, use it anymore. And the Wet n Wild bronzer, which I had hardly any left of last time, I used 5, 10, 15, 16 times. I, I couldn't believe how many times I used that last little bit. And now that is all finished. And I really enjoyed using that. So I enjoyed using a glowy bronzer there. So I had my Master Contour palette from Maybelline and this is in number 10, light to medium. I was going to say I have one but that's upside down. <laughs> and I was going to use it 20 times. I 
have not used it 20 times yet. So I have used the contour 5, 10, 15, 16 times. I have used the blush 5, 6, 7, 8 times. And I used the highlighter look, over here for 11 times. A few uses to go on that to reach my goal of 20 times, but at least I have used it. And um, I quite like, I've got this on today as my bronzer. And I quite like um, the shade of this for winter for me. I've got this as my blush, and I quite like that too. I haven't got this one on today. I used something else today for my highlighter. But this is um, a lovely sort of natural highlighter if you don't want something too beaming, but quite natural looking. It's a nice natural highlighter. And my W7 Strobe Time Highlighter. My goal for this was to hit pan here, which I didn't think I'd do in a month, which I haven't. Um, and I only used it five times, so there was no way I was going to hit pan on that. And I'm wearing it today as my highlighter. But I also used this one once, and I used this one once, and I used this one four times as well. So I did use it, but I didn't come anywhere near pan because a lot of the looks I did... I didn't want that pink reflex in my highlighter, so I didn't use it that much. For the Maybelline Dream Matte Co Koi Coral Blush, this is a cream, I used six times. And it looks like this, and my goal is to use this up, but I kept forgetting to use it. <laughs> I used it six times. <laughs> and my Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I used 5, 10, 50, 20, 22 times, which is the amount of times I did my makeup because I put my mascara on every time I use my makeup. So that's all my stuff that I've got on my project pan list in my shop my stash. I didn't have a, a goal for this and I didn't quite use all the colours. So I didn't use this one at all, and I didn't use this one at all. I used this one once, I used this one once, I used this one twice, I used this one twice, I didn't use this one, I used this one twice, and I used this one twice, and I used this one once. So I used it, but I didn't use all of it. But then last time I had this in my sock chart, my stash, I used every colour. And I really enjoy this palette. It is really pigmented, so you don't need very much. So it'll be a long time before I get any pan in this palette. But I used it and I enjoyed it. I was looking for some more um, peachy kind of blushes than what I had in here this month. If I was looking for more pink blushes this month, I would have um, probably used this more. But because I was looking for some peachy blushes, because I had some new stuff coming, and I needed a picture blush for that. That's why it didn't get used quite as much. Um, my B Way is highlighter. I hardly use this. I surprised myself. I used the green once, and I used this violety colour twice, and that's all. I don't use any of the others. So <laughs> I don't use that a lot. There are some. It is looking used though. So I do use this quite frequently, but just. Not this much. Now, eye products, my extra, extra little eye bits, um, I did my usual and did really badly, but there, there was a reason, apart from the fact that I seem to always do badly. As I said, I had all my um, stuff that I've ordered in the last three months all seem to arrive at the same time, and I was playing with those, so um, I didn't use my eyeshadows as much either because um, I was playing with new palettes because, you know, when you get them, you just want to play with them. So, my Focal Law in Peacock High Topper I used once. The BH1 in Nali that I thought would go with my Macarons palette. I didn't use it at all. My Colourpop Liner in Punch. I didn't use it at all. My Super Shock in Ring. I didn't use it all. <laughs> my Super Shock in Fizz. The green one. 
I didn't use it all. My glitter liner that I got out, which I thought would go well with the macaroons palette as well, I didn't use it all. And I got a couple of things out that I did use. So I got um, the Focal Law in Diamond. So I used that one, it was for a collab I was doing. And I got the Essence Metal Shock in, what is this colour? Stars and Stories. It's kind of a muted pink. I used that once. So the stuff I actually shot my stash for, I hardly used. But I got a couple of other things out to use. I, I never do well with that category. And lipsticks. Okay, so every all the lipsticks that I chose to shop my stash, I did use. So um, my Sephora lip oil in lavender, I used six times. My L'Oreal gloss in Protest Queen, I used four times. My Count 3 Branca Pink Champagne, which I am wearing today, I used three times. The Matte Rimmel Mocha Stay Matte, I used three times. The Maybelline Dreamer Super Stay Matte Ink, I used twice. Oh, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd buy this formula again in a stay. Yeah, um, what do you call it? <laughs> my, my mind's gone blank. Yeah, the, in the in the matte kind of lipsticks that stay on. <laughs> I wouldn't buy this formula again because it doesn't wear well. This one wears quite nicely. This one kind of goes kind of, I don't know, it cracks and flakes off and if you try and reapply it, it doesn't look good. You've got to take it off before you can reapply it. This one I can just reapply over the top and it's fine. So I wouldn't buy this formula again, but um, I'll carry on using it at this stage. The Peach Bliss from Elizabeth Arden, which you can't see anything of. This one here I used once. I thought I used that twice, but maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> the Coffee Craze. I haven't got here. It's in my purse. <laughs> so I used that five times. The next lollies I got out of um, my stash, I used once. The molten bronze I got out of my out of my collection. I should say not my stash. These are extra ones that I got that I haven't shot my stash for. I used once. The free spirit lip lights I used twice, which I got out as well. The L'Oreal colorish brush and a blush I used once, and the Kate Morel. Orchid Bloom. I used once. These ones are very similar. They're not that different. But they're slightly different. <laughs> Did I say Kate? I always say Kate. It's Karen. You're all. I get it mixed up with the other Kate ones. <laughs> so yeah, um, I used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lipsticks this time. Not, not as good as last time when I used 19, but um, I used more different lipsticks than I thought I did. I didn't really think I used that many. And my daughter gave me the Chi Chi Lip Lights in Enchanted because she never uses it. So I used that one once as well. Which I'm not sure if I like it. It's, um, it's really thick. It's could just be getting old. <laughs> so we've just got um, eyeshadow to go. So my macarons palette. Now I did use every colour which was my plan, use every colour in the macarons palette and I did a video on this with lots of looks, I think it was nine looks or something. And I used it quite extensively because I did nine looks with it. So with this colour here I used seven times, this colour here I used nine times, this one I used once, this one I used once, this one I used four times, this one I used three times, this one I used three times, this one I used twice, this one I used three times, this one I used three times, this one I used once, this one I used once, this one I used three times, this one I used four times, 
This one I used twice. This one I used once and once and once. So, and if you want to um, hear my thoughts on what I thought of this palette, then um, I will link that up in the cards and you can go check that out. So that was my, my first time using that palette. Now I also got the Emily Edits The Wants palette out to use, and I was going to use every colour, I didn't use every colour because I was playing with new palettes. But I used most of them, at least once. Some of them I used three times, two times. So the ones I didn't use, I didn't use this black, which, <laughs> surprise, surprise, <laughs> I don't use black that often. And I didn't use this dark purple. I'm just checking, but I used everything else, but some of them I used today. So today I used um, I used this one, which I hadn't used until today, and I used this one, which I hadn't used until today, and I used this one, which I hadn't used until today. <laughs> you have a thing coming on here. I used this one, which I had used, and I used this one, which I hadn't used until today, and I used this one, which I had used, and I used this one, which I had used. So, oh, and I used this one, which I, which I had used as well. So, I did get some good use out of it, but not as much as if I hadn't have had new palettes to play with. And, the Take Me Back to Brazil from Bleach Cosmetics, I didn't use very much of it all. So, there were a lot of colours here that I didn't use. <laughs> but I, I didn't. I didn't have a plan to use every shade in here, I just wanted to use it as a support for the other palettes. And so I used this one once, and I used this one once, didn't use, didn't use that one, I used that one once, and then I used this one over here once, all the others I did not use. And in this row I used this one once, didn't use that one, I used that one twice, that one once. And I didn't use any of the others. <laughs> in this row, I used this one once, and I didn't use this one, and I didn't use this one. I could have probably used this one today to go with my red, but it might have been too orange. I didn't use that one, I don't think. Oh, hang on, which row am I on? Oh, second row. I did use this one. I actually used this one twice. I actually quite like that one. I hadn't used that before. And I used this one once, and I didn't use any. Oh, I think I didn't use one. <laughs> I'm on this row. I get so confused when I do this. I didn't use this one. 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 I used this one once and I didn't use this one. So this row, I used this one once and I used this one once. I hadn't used this one before and I quite like this one. This this one and that one worked well together. And then I didn't use these but then I used this one once and this one once and I used this one once and I didn't use those two. <laughs> So there were lots in there that I hadn't used, but that's okay. I hadn't planned on using them. So that is all my shop, my stash stuff, and now it's time to get some new stuff. And I need some new stuff for my pre. So um, I'm gonna go with what I've emptied first. So because I finished the contour here, I'm going to switch to this contour. This. Sculpt and Glow from Focal Law, and the reason why I'm switching to this one and I'm not showing you others because this is the only other contour that I actually own. So there is no choice. This is this is it for contour. After this, I either have to buy another contour or use eyeshadow. <laughs> so I'm going to use this, and I'll use this one up. This is a nice highlighter. It is. It isn't as dark as it looks in the pan. But it's not super light either. You can't see that at all. It's here. <laughs> I don't think you can see it. But um, I will use the highlighter, but I'm not planning on using it up or anything. I'm just going to organically use that as I feel like it. Because I'll choose a different highlighter for what I'm... Because I've already got the other highlighter in as well. But I will use this one up before... And just before I've used it up, I'll be looking to see if um, I can find another contour that I like. I have actually got this one on now, and I actually really like this, because it's um, extremely easy to blend. You don't get that kind of dark line 
like you do with some contours that go on too strong and then they're hard to blend out and it's it's just really really easy to blend I actually really like this one and the other thing I'm gonna do is because I finished my glowy bronzer here this in theory is not a bronzer it says it's a blush palette golden sugar it's the revolution golden sugar blush palette but these two make a nice bronzer for me so this one is matte and this one is shimmery And I think they look nice on me as a bronzer. And then I can do the shimmery one as a kind of bronze topper when I feel like it. So that's what I'm going to put in instead. Because this one I've had for a while and I don't use it that often because um, it's supposed to be a blush palette but it's mostly highlighters but and those look like bronzers to me. So I thought I'd use it in a different way. And then I'll probably dip into some of the other colours as I want them. And I have to decide what I want to actually do with it. I'm thinking I might, this one here, I might try and hit pan on that. Or, or maybe hit pan on both of them. Just so the palette looks like it's been used. <laughs> some things are going to stay the same. So I'm just going to leave these in. I'm going to work on finishing all these for primers. Foundations. What am I going to do for foundations this time? I'll definitely be putting this one back. I'm quite enjoying this combination. I'm going to carry on with this. And you never know, I might actually finish something if I'm lucky. <laughs> not, not by the end of this month, because both bottles are still quite full. So, I might finish this one, and then I'll be going, oh, I don't want to use these ones without this one. But we'll, we'll see. I'm going to leave in my current... I'm going to leave in my current concealers. I'm going to try and use these two up and this is the only one that I've got that's my proper skin shade because these ones are too light for that so I'm just going to leave those in. My powder my stuff is all over the desk in front of me so I'm having trouble finding stuff. Where did I put it? Oh, my hair was. <laughs> uh, skin Maybelline powder. I'm going to try and finish this up, so I'm going to leave that in as well. And I will continue using this one, and I'll put this one back because I don't need both of them. And so I'll continue using this in my project pan. I'm getting more stuff in my project pan now, and shot my stash has sort of gone to blush and eyeshadow with stuff and lipsticks and stuff that I change around all the time so I'm getting more stuff in the project pan that I want to actually finish off and oh, I forgot to talk about my setting spray that's really dirty so I was using my CoverGirl setting spray um, I've only got two I've got the CoverGirl one and I've got the one from the Pretty Fresh line from Colourpop I'm just going to carry on using this Colourpop one because um why not <laughs> I think I'll just finish this one up. I can easily get this one. Um, the other one I have to order online and um, it was sold out as well when I went to order it. So I'm going to use this one up and I don't know where it, where it is. I'd have to open it. There's, I, I shook it so there's bubbles in the way now. I can't see. It feels like it's about, it feels like it's around here from what I can tell. But uh, I don't know for certain. I'm going to continue using the cream blush until that's all gone. I just have to remember to use it. And I'm going to continue using this even though I have had it in the project for three months now. Um, 
I'm actually finally liking the way it looks on my lashes. It's it's taken it took about three months before I actually like it. So this month it's working really well, and so I'm going to carry on using it for another month. So I just need to um, look at eyeshadow palettes, blush. And I'm thinking highlighter, but I've already got this palette in and this palette in that has highlighters in, so I don't want any highlighter. And lipsticks, or oh, an extra eye stuff, which I never use anyway. <laughs> Maybe I should leave that out and just get it out as I want it. <laughs> so instead of um, going in my stash and pulling stuff out, I actually want to use some of the eyeshadow palettes that I have purchased this month or received this month and I have one palette that I have made up that I haven't had a chance to use yet so I will show you what I'm going to use for August it's August <laughs> so yeah um, the You Can Be a Magic Spell palette now I did a review on this and I wasn't that happy with it so um, I changed it so I will pop in a photo of what it did look like and a lot of the greens just weren't impactful enough and didn't have enough oomph for enough green in them. So I depotted it and I've added a few things in here and I'll probably be doing a video on the things I've changed in that in there and why I did and some looks over the map. So this I'm going to use this. I had bought the escape pod from Kaleidos. So I'm going to be using this because I want to make a video with some more looks. I've done a first impressions on that. I've done a first impressions on the Tasty Peach from Our Heart Revolution as well. But I want to do more looks with it and make sure I use all the colours. So I'm going to do that. So that already makes three, and that would that would usually be enough for me. But I have others that I've got. So my multi making bank 18B. I have only done one look with. So I've did a first own impressions. This was sent to me by a wonderful friend, and um, I want to use this more and play with all the colours. And Wait a minute. I also have this one, the Battle London one that I won in a giveaway from Just Lean Up. I have only used once, so I only use it. And my Revolution Pro Smoke and Mirrors, which one shade has fallen out. I haven't used this at all yet, so I want to do at least a first impressions with it. And um, this this shade here has it's loose, so I'm just being careful that it doesn't fall out. So I want to at least do a first impressions with that one in August. So how many does that make? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot of palettes to use in one minute. Actually, I just thought I have... Oh, and for blush, I want to use my Kaleidos Peach one. Called Lo-Fi Peach Duo Blusher. I have used it, but I really like it and I want to use it some more. But I also got a Revolution one. I'm not sure where I put that. So I've got the Roxy Revolution one, which I've tried, and I wasn't sure how much I liked it, so I want to try this out some more. So I've got plenty of blush to try out. Oh, and I've got my Lotus Futurism Sci-Fi Green, which I have done one look with. So I want to play with that one some more. So it makes seven palettes. There's a lot of palettes for me to play with. And um, <laughs> just there's there's too much. My mind's going no. There's there's too much. I can't do any more. Um, <laughs> so I think um, I'm going to leave it there. I think what I'll do is 
I will just get the lipsticks out that I want to use with whatever look I'm doing because there are just so many palettes it's hard to say what colour lipstick I'm going to use and same with the extra eye products I'm just going to get them out as I want to use them and then when I do my shop my stash next time I'll go through and show you what I actually used for the month so I know you didn't get to look through my collection this time but that's because a lot of the stuff I'm reusing and um, I've just got so many new things that I don't need to go into my collection to get anything else <laughs> so, so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to organize this because I've got a big mess on my desk and then I can show you what I'm going to use this month and um, and wrap it up <laughs>